So we saw that uh, when we had a triangle and we had a parallel line cutting it, that it cut it into proportional pieces. What if we had um, something else where we had two parallel lines, or actually three or more parallel lines, and they're intersected by two transversals? Do they divide the sides proportionally? And they do. So let me show you how that works. We're going to actually prove it. So you can see here what I'm going to do is add segment. I'm trying to prove that CE is to EA as DF is to FB. And I know that all three segments are parallel. Okay, and I'm going to add a line in between, or a segment really, from B to C with the point where they intersect there at G. And that's really going to help me with my proof. So the first statement is always your givens, that the, the lines are parallel. Now I can say that CE is to EA as CG is to GB. And why can I say that? That's a triangle proportionality theorem. So this piece is to that piece as CG is to GB. I can also say, you see this upside down triangle up here? I can say that CG is to GB as DF is to FB. Okay, that's still the triangle proportionality theorem. It's just use, create, uh, using this upside down triangle. Well, if CE is to EA as CG is to GB, which is also the, as to DF is to FB, using the transitive property, I can say that this red is to the blue as the red is to the blue. Another neat thing to notice is that if you extend these uh, segments CA and turn it into a line, what kind of shape do you have there? You actually have a triangle with parallel lines to the base. So in this example, we are going to look for TW, which is X, and RW. Again, I can set up a proportion, 27 is to 18, as 18 is to x. Okay, then we'll cross multiply, 27x equals 324. Divide both sides by 27, and I get x is 12. So that means that tw is 12, and then rw right here, let me go ahead and write it because I'm pretty sure I didn't put it in here. This part right here will be 30. So to reflect, uh, which segments cannot be used to set up the proportions? Well, actually, I wanted to remember that. So the thing is, it's going to be for the outside sides. If you're dealing with any of these um, theorems or corollaries that we're dealing with today, we're not going to really use these inside sides. So it's actually a good idea for these parallel segments. Cross them out. They don't work for these part-to-part -part ratios. The only time you can use those parallel segments is when we're doing holes. So like when you're redrawing whole triangles. And I don't even have a triangle on the top part. So I'm really doing part to part. Don't use the inside segments. So which segments cannot be used to set up proportions? The ones that are inside of the triangle and those that are parallel to that. Or inside of the trapezoid in this case.